So last summer, I was arrested. Now, I learned two things from that. I learned one, never to bring a big tripod onto the school's roof that kind of resembles a sniper, because <laughs> cops really are not fond of that. But I also learned that it's really important to find something that you're passionate about and to find something you're talented in, because it really is something that you can inspires you to wake up every day, something that motivates you throughout your day. And I just remember that, especially me growing up, and I see so many else, so many other people around me, they see school as this very negative place, something that they're forced to go to, something that they have to stay for five days a week, for seven hours a day. And I feel like it's so easy to be cynical. It's so easy to see it that way. But when we're asked to something as to find our talent, we go to our teachers for help. We ask them, what's my talent? And that's not really our, for our teachers to answer. That's for us. We're the only ones that can answer that. You are the only ones that can answer that. And what I realized is that I was acting very cynical. And I would go. I remember freshman year, I would always look at the photography room. I would always walk by, by it, and I would always say, it takes no talent to be a photographer. It's not art. And I realized that I was so wrong. During my junior year, I watched this one YouTube video, and it was a guy, he was showing us how to edit a picture of neon lights. And it just made me so happy. It was a very low point in my life. And this picture just made me so happy. So I went out the next day, and I spent $1,000 every single thing I had in my bank account just on a camera. And it finally came, and I ended up getting arrested the first day on the roof. But <laughs> other than that, the second day, I ended up taking this picture over here and multiple other pictures. And I was so happy. I did it. I did the neon light picture that I was inspired to do. And it created this like spark in me of motivation, of wanting to do more and more and more. And over the, after trying to do more and learning more for myself and learning more from my teachers and having the opportunity of time and high school to learn this, I got better and better. And I started to do things that differed myself. I started to do black and white pictures with the eyes colored in and color around it. And it was something that made me me. And it was something that made me unique. It was my way of expressing myself. My pictures are my way of expressing myself in a healthy way. Because earlier, I was not expressing myself in a happy way. I was being mean to others. I was being mean to my teachers. I was not happy. And this is my way of being happy. It's my way of putting those angry thoughts or sad thoughts into my art. And throughout all that, I learned and met so many new people that helped me grow. And it's so amazing to be surrounded by so many people with like-minded people that help you and inspire you to do more. And we kind of grew together, which was so amazing. And I feel like that's the one thing. When you're passionate about something, other people will be passionate with you. You'll find people that are passionate, that's <coughs> like your same passion. And then it's so easy to talk to them. It makes so many more people for you to talk to. And then throughout that, I got better and better. And I start to realize that my passion has really came into my talent. These pictures you see up here, I'm insanely proud of. And after this, I really didn't think I could get better. And then I ended up taking these very recently. And I'm insanely proud of all of these. I realized that this passion of mine is really my talent. And I would like to say that it doesn't take talent to find your talent. I don't think I had talent in the beginning, but it grew into that. It takes passion. You have to find your passion. And so I urge not necessarily the people that have already found their talent, but I'm talking to the people who haven't. There are so many things you can do. My friend Riley, he got a guitar when he was 10, and he played it every single day. It wasn't necessarily a good guitar, but he played it and he loved it. He was passionate about it. And throughout years and years of work, he ended up getting better and better and better and growing. And now he's in two bands and he was even on the news. And then my friend Dylan, 
For his 12th birthday, he was gifted a turntable. And every single day after school, he would work on music. That's all he would do. And throughout all that, now he goes to plenty of clubs and plays. He's a DJ. And he gets like $4,000 a night. It's insane. And to see so many of my friends being successful, it motivated me so much and makes me want to strive more in school. And it realized how many opportunities school really gives you. It's your free opportunity to explore new options and explore these classes. And I think that's the really important thing. These are just my story. These are two other stories. These are three stories out of so many more. And now it's your time to find your story. It's your time to go out there and discover your passion. There's so many things that can help you. I learned photography majority by myself throughout looking things up online. It's, we're in the day and age that it's so easy to learn more about something that you're passionate about. So I urge all of you to find something you're passionate about and explore it. Thank you.